Well, it seems that things, as usual, aren't going so well for woke, liberal, SJW, Disney. And by the way, if I sound like I'm sick, because I basically am, that's why. Uh, you know, you, your usual common cold, which is rather annoying, but hey, the results of these corrupt bodies to flesh were stuck in. So anyway, like I said, things are not going well with woke, SJW, Disney, and they're, you know, you would have think they're learning the lesson from uh, the truth of the saying, go woke, go broke. And it's in the form of, essentially, having to lay off thousands of their employees to save $5.5 billion in spending cuts, okay? This is on Breitbart. It says, Woke Disney begins layoffs of 4,000 employees as part of 5.5 billion spending cuts. Yeah, but how much you want to bet they're not going to learn the lesson? See, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. Instead of cutting jobs, how about you cut out the liberal SJW propaganda from your films? Anyway, in the article it says, Entertainment giant Disney is set to eliminate up to 4,000 jobs as part of CEO Bob Iger's $5.5 billion budget cut plan as the company faces repeated box office bombs, billions in losses over its streaming service, and political setbacks due to its radical left-wing policies in Florida. According to reports, executives have tasked managers with, with identifying which of their employees can be laid off as redundant and disposable and have been told to have their lists ready within the next two weeks. Insiders have leaked that the first layoffs will be initiated in April, though it's not known if the layoffs will happen in waves or all at once. Yeah, it's funny because they're cutting out all these employees when the solution would be to just stay politically neutral. You know, you don't insert yourself into politics and certainly don't take a side of these blue haired freaks on Twitter who just think who are essentially nothing more than just a loud and annoying minority. You know, they're not the majority as much as they want you to think they are. They're just a very loud, annoying minority on Twitter and on the Internet. But anyway, continuing on. The 4,000 layoffs could ju may just be beginning in February. It was reported that Iger was looking to end up to 7,000 jobs or more than 3% of his workforce. Yeah. I always feel kind of bad for some of these employees because really they're just kind of caught in the middle of all this. You know, I mean, I used to work at retail and, you know, I kind of know firsthand how bad decisions from, you know, really the, the higher ups who are basically controlled, you know, can be manipulated, affect pretty much everybody, not just the customers, but the workforce too. I used to work in retail. Pretty much that's all I've ever worked in is retail. And, you know, I've occasionally had to bear the brunt of stupid idiotic decisions from the higher ups. So, you know, a lot of times they woke the biggest people who the, the biggest sufferers and victims of these woke you know SJW blue haired freaks on Twitter are often the employees at Disney. It says in the article some of the job cuts co will come from positions that are currently open and will later simply be eliminated. The, the layoffs are set despite the company's profits of 23.51 billion, which has slightly exceeded the expectations of 23.44 billion. It was also reported that the company is scaling back spending on new programming and marketing, its own enterprises such as ESPN and other entertainment divisions. Notice that wording, programming. Yeah, because that's all that it is now. Well, woke liberal SJW Illuminati programming. Bunch of garbage, you know, and they're in, they're laying off people in this desperate attempt to try to make a return on their profits and everything else. And the solution is simply just to be what Chapek was trying to go for, which is political neutrality, you know. But of course, the woke liberal SJW mob on Twitter, these freaks and weirdos who basically just feel persecuted when someone doesn't uh, cater to the, uh, every single demand they have, you know, they they want they don't want that. They want you to actually f uh, cow to their agenda full scale. It's a bunch of garbage, but hey. You know, it's a, tr it's a testament to the saying, you go woke, you go broke. Plain and simple. So anyway, I wanted to show you guys that. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.